how's it going guys so today we're going to be mowing our triticale crop the uh, weather forecast is looking pretty good for this week so we have the disc bind on a versatile nemesis 210 so it's going to be very interesting to run this thing today this is provided by the dealer in the area agcom they sent it out to me and wanted me to run it for the day show you guys so this tractor does have a front pto too bad we don't have a motor for the front of it let them speed up the day a little bit i want to pull over to the shop and just put a little bit of air in that one tire I don't know about you guys, but I kind of like that color scheme. To get started, I'm just going to mow a little bit and then we'll get out and check. Make sure the stems are being crimped correctly. So that's my PTO RPMs. I did a couple passes. Um, so this is the tray cow. It's a half uh, wheat, half rye hybrid crop. Uh, we we want to harvest it before the grain heads come out, so the forage quality is still really high. We like to crimp it. We got rollers in the mower that break up the stalks. The first pass, I thought it wasn't quite crimped as much as it could be, so I tightened down a little bit. And so we can see it kind of beat up the stalks a lot already. Should help it dry out quicker. So that was our dairy nutritionist just checking it out. So we're getting started. All right, Eric's here trying out this Versatile. It's a new transmission that we're not used to, so he's getting used to it. Trinicow looks really nice. It's up about our waist in some spots and the heads are coming up the stalk maybe three quarters of the way so we feel it's about right we got a good weather window this week it looks like so pretty good getting used to this CBT it's definitely a different feeling so when we open up a field I don't want to drive right in front of the mower and run the mower straight behind me because it'll push the, the crop down and the mower won't pick it up now I'm going the opposite way and I'm picking up what I drove on the last pass there
this one gearbox is low on oil should have been checking that but dad is helping me out here putting some oil in it i just checked on the knives to make sure they're all in good shape these rollers we just got put in this winter are brand new got them squeezing it pretty aggressively so it's working the tractor a little bit when you have heavy feed going through them so i'm gonna get going again i've mowed about 12 acres so far just taking a little bit of time to get used to this cvt transmission Pushing this heavy crop through those rollers. Got everything mowed at the home farm. Getting pretty good at this by now. Looks like the tether showed up now. Just had to get a beverage. Dad's gonna go ahead and tet everything out now. now. I'm gonna work this field right across the road. Mowing off the left side feels very awkward for me. I needed someone to film me, so I went and got Megan. That's the girl you see milking with me a lot of the time. So hopefully those shots worked out. And then once I get going again on the row, I'll just push this board and it'll lock me at 10 and a half miles an hour. So the mower uses two hydraulic functions, one to lift it and then one to pivot side to side. And I have those set up right here on these two switches. These are a lot nicer than the big levers that I'm used to. They're really easy to move just with your fingers. And I, uh, you also have the option of using these up here for those functions, but I found these are actually working pretty good.
got 20 acres left to do and they need the versatile back now. I'm just gonna put the 7130 on the mower to finish up. I gotta be careful now, I'm used to not using my clutch all day. Got these things called gears in this tractor, it's weird. My dad's out tedding in the 7220. as fast with this tractor eight mile an hour is about enough for the uh, engine well, there's my ride it's about 8 15 at night right now could finish if I had to but don't really need to so I'm just gonna check the cows push the feed in for the special needs we figured there's no good reason to push it and get the mowing done tonight because it's not gonna dry overnight anyway. 